Hi, Internet family. I have a video for you today about feelings versus actions. And also at the end, I have a road rage hack for you that I formed many years ago that still works, and I'll tell you how to do it. So first off, let's talk about feelings versus actions. So often, and this is also running on the track of establishing a place of peace within us and around us, and if you want to watch my video on that, it's on my feed. You can go and check my videos. But so often when we act out of turn, whether that's with our actions, like people who are physically abusive, or with our words, who are verbally violent, or even with our energy in more subtle ways that we know is us trying to overpower another or manipulate someone or somehow not working from a place of peace and collaboration and the desire for everyone to win and to come together in a way that benefits the whole as well as the individuals involved. It's put off on, oh, well, I felt a certain way. There have been so many times, even in my personal life, where people have acted a certain way that does harm. And then the excuse is, well, I felt such and such. And I'm not trying to trigger or call anyone out here. We've all done this. I've done it too. And so the point of this video is to bring greater awareness to ourselves when we do it so we can represent something different in the world. So feeling a certain way is feeling a certain way. It does not automatically denote any type of action. And we're always going to feel we're humans. We're these incredible alchemists naturally in our body of frequency, energy, electrical impulses, and also biology, chemical reactions and things that happen. And the whole point of life is for us to feel and not just feel lovely, blissful all the time, but for us to have challenge and struggle and strain and learning how to navigate and alchemize the emotions that we feel. So of course we're feeling. Feeling a certain way is great. You should feel that way and let it roll within you and roll within you and let it power you and teach you and then turn it into something that is useful for you and others, hopefully. None of that had anything to do with what you say as you're having the feeling or what you do as you're having the feeling. The point is that our feelings are part of our information gathering process. So you feel the feeling and let it just do whatever it does. Let it cause the turmoil. Let it do the thing. But then still act, still speak, still respond. Eventually, if you need to take a step back, if all you can do is be violent, then wait. If this violent energy you have, whether that's yelling at someone or slapping someone, or any derivative that may be way more gentle than either of those examples, if that's all you can think to do and that's the thing that feels right, it will still feel right in a couple days from now after you've had a chance to cool off. So you waiting doesn't make what you do less effective. And then you can continue to create a world that you want to live in. Because the thing that happens so often when we act out of turn because we're emotionally overwhelmed and we can't control our actions from bad habits is that later we have a bunch of cleanup to do. Later we have to go back, and that's okay. Again, that's a skill too. And I will admit, me personally, repair is not one of my strongest skills. It's something that I'm growing in. But it's also nice to work with integrity and act with integrity so that there's minimal cleanup or repair to do. And that's a goal that I have. So speaking of that, one of the places that I found this so helpful in my life was road rage. I'll paint a picture for you. The year is 2008 and I lived in the Los Angeles area and I lived about 20 miles away from where I worked. And so every day I had to go through downtown LA. And if you live or have visited LA, you understand the traffic. And if you haven't, let me just tell you, almost anything you've seen is worse. And people are mean and it's part of the culture and it's very contagious. Road rage is very contagious out there. And I caught it. And I would be in traffic. I was in traffic one day and it got worse and worse and worse over time until the culmination point where I had my moment of lucidity and it was when someone cut me off and it wasn't just rude it was also dangerous so you do feel justified for being mad 
And I looked over at him and I snarled. I showed my teeth. And I wanted in that moment to physically hurt this man. And I wanted him to know that I wanted to hurt him. <laughs> and I caught myself. I was like, wait a second. Um, I'm devolving before my very eyes. Let me figure this out. And as a student of psychology, I know that you cannot suppress the emotion. That's why even in the beginning of this video, I'm like, feel your emotions, work them through, alchemize them. But don't automatically act from them necessarily. But that said, when it's road rage and it's happening, here was the key that I came up with that day. And I've used it ever since and it has worked. And I've given the tool to friends and they've used it and it's worked. So feel free to use this. Let me know in the comments if you do and how it works. So here's the key. The transgression happens and then you feel the road rage anger come up. And so you let it do what it do. You can curse someone out. You can whatever in your car by yourself. And then as soon as you're done, because like I said, if you suppress it and push it down, it will, oh, sorry about that sound, you guys, someone's doing yard work. Anyway, if you suppress it or push it down, it'll make you sick. So let it out, do the thing. And then after it's done, right after you're done, you have to make a nonsensical sound. So you have to make a bird call or something. And what that does is it pops the anger like a balloon and you all of a sudden are laughing at yourself and you realize that, yeah, that sound I just made makes as much sense as those words that I just said to that person in my mind. It works amazingly. Try it. Try it yourself. It pops the bubble. And when you do it from inside, it's not the same as someone else trying to transmute your anger, your anger with humor. When you do it, it does transmute it a lot better. So try that and let me know what you think. And yeah, just coming back around to Feelings are great. Feelings are feelings. And with a lot of practice, you can learn more emotional control. And that's really the great balance of living in a way that not only is conscious ourselves, but also impacts the world around us through manifestation and through creating reality. We can get more into that. Let me know if you'd like me to go deeper into that. But inside of yourself, it's a lot harder to control your emotions, but you can control your actions. You can control your actions. And so if you do something, you say, well, I felt, okay, but that's what you were feeling. What you are doing is different. So I am curious what happens when you start separating the two, especially when it's the harder stuff and what do you experience? All right. Love y'all. Have a beautiful day. Bye.